No, I'm not doing anything. Just sitting here with the baby. Yeah, screw you, too. Oh, hey, Bri. Hey, you want to go out and get some gluten-free pizza? I'm gluten-free now. But, you know, I I'm not going to be annoying about it. Too late. Oh, we should be gluten-free together. Uh, let's go to Whole Foods and buy a bunch of stuff from that weird aisle nobody else goes down. I can. I got plans. I'll see you later. Good afternoon. I'm Tom Tucker. Some sad news this morning as 38 school children drowned with their... Oh, oh, excuse me. When their school bus hit a patch of ice and drove off a local... Oh, 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 what is wrong with me today? <laughs> and drove off a local bridge. That could be my favorite thing I ever seen. What is a penguin? Is it some kind of bug? What? You serious? So it is a bug? Hey, you know, that's what we ought to do. We ought to make a viral video. All right. Let's do it. Awesome. Oh, I, I don't know if you're going to be in it, Joe. I, I thought while we filmed, we'd just keep all of our stuff on your lap. Wait a minute. Joe and Bonnie never used to spend time together until they had Susie. Having a baby seemed to have made them closer. Babies save relationships. <laughs> oh, look at you. You're flying. Okay, thanks, Bonnie. Next, I want to ride a bike. That's it, Rupert. That's how Brian and I are going to improve our relationship. You, uh, you okay? I'm terrific, and that is so sweet of you to ask. You really are a natural caregiver, aren't you? Mmm, mmm. Do you mind not texting? Sorry, sorry, just finishing right now. Almost done. They're all finished right now. Okay, so... No, nah, no, nah, I'm not going to get it. Then maybe we can take it off the table. No, no, just keep going. <sighs> I was thinking we should talk about having a... This isn't fun for me, watching you text. No, no, this is great. Mm, mm, mm. Yum. But uh, I got to go. I have a date. Okay, let's see. Now, what are the ingredients to a viral internet video? Cats. Yes, cats, good. Uh, uh, people reacting to watching gross stuff. Oh, yeah, because they're like, ah, that's gross. Can I get a soda? What? No. Th this is like the worst time to ask for a soda. Unbelievable. All right, Rupert, the fertilization device is complete. This will impregnate me with the child that will bring Brian and me back together. First, I add Brian's hair and saliva and some preschool applications because we are already way behind. There. Now I just have to get into the machine and then the machine does whatever it has to do to me in order to successfully impregnate me. Good morning, Brian. What is that? I smell pee. Yes, you do, Brian. Oh my God, that thing's positive. Is Lois pregnant again? No. Meg is pregnant? You're getting warmer. <laughs> oh, thank you for finding a way to make it sound horrible. We can't have a baby, Stewie. Is this about money? Because I have a bit saved. We could even use my old crib. You use your old crib. Oh, right. Stewie, you have to get rid of it. Get rid of it? You know, why don't you just say it? Say the word, Brian. I want to hear you say it. Abortion. Abortion. You need to get a big, fat abortion right this second. <laughs> Ooh. Is it dead? You hit me. What kind of monster hits a pregnant toddler? If you ever lay a finger on me again, I'll burn you in your bed. Could, could you do that now, please? I'm not taking you anywhere. Jeez, how far along are you? I'm not really sure. Two days, six months. There's a certain amount of guesswork involved in this. Oh, and while I'm pregnant, I'm going to need you to change the cat litter. We don't have a cat. Uh, please don't fight me on this. Oh, my back is killing me. And I've also been experiencing a little... Well, that's odd. Your vagina seems to have a penis and two testicles. Oh, right. I, uh, sneezed real hard and all that came out. Ah, that explains it. Could you do that thing where you take some fluid and tell me if it's going to be an imbecile or a cretin? Oh, not to worry. There are places where those people can be warehoused. But from strictly eyeballing you, I'd say everything looks fine. How old are you? How old are you? You look like you're 40, which means whatever you've got in there is 100% brain damaged. All right, you have a good day. I hated that lady. I like these. These are good. Very classy. This feels incredibly wrong. Okay, now people really love that viral video of a monkey forcing that sex act on a frog at the zoo. So maybe we can find another frog for something like that. You mean like that frog? Oh. That frog in the miniskirt putting a quarter in the jukebox. I'm having such a craving for burgers. It's like my body is just craving red meat and mint chip ice cream. But only mint chip. Any other ice cream makes me want to puke. Isn't that weird? Yes, Stewie, that's the one weird thing in all this. What are you looking at? 
Go push your buttons. My husband will kick your ass. Stop saying I'm your husband. I'm already going over the speed limit. Oh, too late! Pull over! It's starting to come out! Of where? I'm not sure exactly. <laughs> Brian, I'm going to need you to deliver the baby. Oh, uh, okay, can, can you wait a second while I put a towel down? I, I don't want anything to get on the seats. Oh, no, of course. Our first priority should be to keep the vinyl clean. <laughs> I just put Jack and Rose down for their nap, and I'm trying to keep the more attractive ones in this area. This is a nightmare. All right, let's check our YouTube channel and see how we're doing. Boy, they just went right after Cleveland, didn't they? Geez, that word looks even harsher when it's in all caps. Wow, people really seem to hate everything we put on here. That sucks. And I worked really hard on taking a picture of myself every day for a year and then setting the photos to an emotional song. Look. Hey, stop squirming in there. This one's bones all feel loose. And I think that one is blind. We'll have to get him little sunglasses. Great, because dog head human ears over here doesn't react to anything I say. Hey! Hey, you! Okay, this one is deaf. We are going to be spending a fortune on schools. Coming up, a white waiter at a Chinese restaurant? We'll get you the facts on this bizarre story. But first, this week's viral video, Fat Kid Hustles Through Crosswalk. Here it is. Here's little Chubbo pulling up the rear. Oh, he's got to get moving now. Stewie, this is awful. I don't know why anyone would want to be a parent, especially to four children. Four? I thought we were down to five. Yeah, the deaf one didn't hear Joe's lawnmower. Oh, that's really upsetting. I, I can't take this anymore, Stewie. I I'm sorry, I got to get out of here. What? Where are you going? Stop doing that! So, we didn't have to do any of this. I... I guess not. How attached to them are you? Not at all. Yeah, me either. This is for the best. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they'll be adopted. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, man, I bet that's where Crocodile Dundee eats every night. Everything in Australia is so fancy. Yeah, Australia's a beautiful place. The best thing about going there is you get to fly over the Pacific Ocean. The greatest ocean of all time. <laughs> Tell me you're joking. Everyone knows that pound for pound, the Atlantic is the best ocean. Go around the block again. She's still out front. We've gone around six times. Let's just talk to her. Yeah, you're right. Rip it off quick like a Band-Aid. Hey, Meg, you know Mr. Quagmire. Right by. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, I'm selling my old Beanie Babies to make money for the prompt. Okay, now see, she didn't say good morning to me, so I put an orange dot on her boarding pass, which means they're going to search her anus. I noticed you also circled a bunch of things on her ticket. Why did you do that? What do you mean? Come on, Meg, look around. You're the hottest person who works here. Oh, wow, now that you mention it, everybody does look kind of dumpy. That's not entirely their fault. They're all told to wear a pair of their dad's pants. Oh, speaking of which, tomorrow, bring in a pair of your dad's pants. Oh, I see. You want me to tell your best friend my complaints about you so he can back you up. The new maid is peeing on me, and she didn't even say anything clever about it. Look, you're the one who said you were going crazy. Just talk to him. He's all about helping people get well, just like Doc Martens. There they are. All right, since you're a patient, we're going to talk about you like you're not here. You get all of us squawking out, Doc? Oh, I think we got to the root of the problem, didn't we, Lois? Absolutely. All right, let's dope her up good. Turn that mouth off. No, Peter, the problem is you. What? What the hell are you doing? You're supposed to be my friend. By the way, your Svengali is out there spraying birds with a hose. Ha <laughs> ha, now you're wet. Peter, I've had enough. Cleveland and I think we need to make some changes. Oh, come on, are you serious? Yeah, you're gonna start helping around the house and we're gonna start doing things together. We do stuff together. Just last night, I made you keep track of all the words I know. Yeah, her breasts and her stomach are different parts of her body. I think she looks weird. How come she's not shaped like a potato? That's part of the interview and everything. Whoa, sorry, ma'am. We can't let you through security because you're the bomb. Scott, you're not supposed to make jokes like that. Well, I am carrying more than three ounces of liquid. Ah, oh, the green check went by again. If it goes around 30 times in five minutes, you get to have a Diet Coke. All right, according to Cleveland, it's also healthy for couples to have shared activities. So, 
Since you like golf, I thought we could play around. Sure. Great. I'll pick you up at 4.30. Sounds good. All right. Well, I'm up at the podium. Time to make Mark some pieces of paper no one will ever see again. I thought we had plans on Friday. Marla, I think we should just be ugly friends. Oh, yeah. And we were all throwing bread at him? Yeah. Maybe I could tell Donna about that. Or remember when Cleveland wore briefs under his boxers and we found out and he told us not to say anything. Maybe we tell her that. Uh, I think Peter's is better. Okay, but we'll keep mine ready. Could be the nail in the coffin. Well, I'll get to the bottom of this. Take care, Donna. Cleveland didn't show up to my therapy session earlier, and Donna says she hasn't seen him for two days. Interesting. Interesting. She also weirdly told me that she squatted 250 today. I'm not even sure if that's good. It's scary good. What is that? There you are. Listen up, Meg. This TSA isn't sweaty enough for the two of us. What? W what does that even mean? It means stay away from Larry. I'm his girlfriend. <laughs> this ain't over. Larry is mine. What the hell? That was crazy. Like, like crazier than putting cops on segways. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it'd be right. Ugh, I knew you weren't cool. Well, no, 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 hold on a minute. See, this is pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I guess, but what we could really use is some weed. I think that might be over the line. See, I told you this guy wasn't cool. Oh, no, no, hold on a minute. Well, he wasn't by the snow cones. I love today. <laughs> Hi, Meg. Larry, what are you doing here? I, I thought we were going to meet at the Toomey store and see who buys luggage at the airport. Meg, I've got some disturbing news. Some gray security tubs have gone missing. We've looked everywhere. Where the hell could he be? Guys, I think we need to embrace the possibility that Cleveland never existed. Damn it, if only there was some kind of clue as to where he might be. That's right, Cleveland had a deli. We should check there. It's a symbol of all my failures. Cleveland! You're okay. Aww. I'm so glad we found you. Hey, listen, I I'm sorry we threatened to blab about your bachelor party stripper stuff. I'd never do that. Because that'd mean I'd have to talk to Donna, and that's that's just like, ugh. And I'm sorry I caused such problems in your marriage. Hey, that's what friends are for. What about you, Meg? What'd you do this week? What, so you can make fun of me? No, Meg, I'm your father, and I'm interested in what my daughter did this week. You promise you're not going to make fun of me? Of course, Meg, I care about my family. But I feel like you're drawing this out, so when you do make fun of me, it'll hurt more. 